Where she worked as a general worker 
for a long, long years before she was made redundant. She decided that she would not work in another organization and it was much more better doing her own business. And with her entrepreneurial skills, she started selling in the community. Some of the items that she would sell was food powder, red peas, and pigtail, what's the name of it? I can remember the pigtail and red peas very well. Yeah. Because as a young boy, I could not afford to buy. But as a very good friend of Skinos, Delta, we would run boat and we would cook what we call pigtails to peas. This was all made in abundance at the house. We would make use of every opportunity that was presented to her. She traveled to England twice, where she spent lengthy time with her daughter Michelle and other relatives. After returning from her second trip, she decided to stay in Jamaica, where she would be around her grandchildren. The number of her children was growing rapidly. What was fine for a long time, they come taking a short while. The love she had for her children did not stop there. The same sentiment was shared with the grandchildren. I have never seen Lee walking alone. She's always with at least four of her grandchildren. If it is not two who live with her, it is two other dark combination. She wrote an extra mile to take care of these children and show them love. Even when she started to have health issues, I suggested her to take a trip. Her response was, and here I quote, Thanks, but I really don't have to love her, but I really don't want you to pick them alone. End of quote. About a year ago, Lee visited my house and told me that she is now ready to move back to Israel, but she needs to renew her passport. She was asking me to get a passport for her. I did get a passport for her and tell her, but that was it. We didn't get past the passport for her. On a lighter note, Lee was an ardent supporter of one of Jamaica's major political parties. When she was much younger, she did not miss a political meeting or an email by the party. After any election, she would meet with Marcia and Miss Carl to either celebrate in the party victorious or to do a postmark in the party last election. <laughs> This conversation among them would last hours, depending on the outcome of the election. We might not have a full life, and it is written in the Bible. She falls short two years from three, four, and ten, or seventy years, a man should live. However, she sees three generations of children. She gave birth to four children, who loved the children, in Annex Star, Michelle and Winifred, who is on the road and on the dance. Devon, who would have known the many assignments. Enos, also known as Vinegar. And Chris, who is now deceased. Her next two generations would have been ten grandchildren and six great grandchildren. He is survived by three brothers, Elvin, Wilbur, and Roy. One sister, Dorothy. Her children, Annette. Then one, Tina. Ten grandchildren. Six great grandchildren. Nieces, nephews, daughters in law, son in law, and a host of other relatives and friends. I can remember the last time I. Totally. I was at Petrojan 
and they're amazing for um, lunch break. And it's even down to drop something over for her. And when I reach us, we, we all want to talk about the teacher whenever I see She was telling me about you know, her sickness and she was in the hospital most recently. And um, she was out just two days ago. And during the conversation, she started crying. At that time, you know, I get a bit emotional, but I tried to keep strong. I said to her, please don't cry. I said to her, go inside, pray, ask God to heal you, and ask him to guide you along the way. And the eye was a streak of tears rolling on her face. She started smiling. We, as we were turning, we had a final piece of resting. But let us see. Right hand. Right hand. Thank you so much. Ah! 